Yo, what's good everybody? Xavier back again with another video. Before I get started with the topic of this rants, Tough loss today for the Texas Longhorns against the Oklahoma Sooners. It was a wild ass game, especially when they, when they went to quadruple overtime. Both teams were going tooth and nail back and forth. Kept going to overtime, keep tying the game. But the Sooners won 53 to 45 at quadruple overtime. But you got to give the Sooners credit. They came to play. And as for the Longhorns, they kept fighting and they never gave up. That's exactly what I'd like to see. Don't worry, Longhorns. You'll get them next week. It's no big deal. And the Texans better get ready tomorrow because they have a chance to win their first game of the season. And their first game without the presence of former Texans head coach and GM Bill O'Brien. So let's hope the Texans win their first game of the season. Because they lost four games in a row. Hopefully they won't lose their fifth. Now we can get to the topic of this rant. One classic hip-hop album turning 25 and the other one turning 20. October 10th, 1995. AZ released his debut album, Do or Die. Wow, 25 years since AZ released his debut album. He's definitely the most underrated MC. AZ's Do or Die received notable critical and commercial success. The album debuted at number 15 on the Billboard 200 and number one on the U.S. Top R&B slash Hip Hop Albums chart. And the album was certified gold in 1995. Do or Die produces several singles including More Money, More Murder, Sugar Hill, Give Me Yours, and Do or Die. Guest appearances include from Nas and Mrs. Jones and production from N.O. Joe, Pete Rock, L.E.S. and Buck Wild. AZ has yet to release the sequel Do or Die 2 coming soon. You should know what my thoughts about this 25 years later. Timeless classic music. And like I said, AZ is definitely the most underrated MC. I thought Big L was the most underrated MC, but AZ puts the ice on the cake. I feel like this album should have went platinum instead of gold. But either way, AZ definitely deserves more credit. He's planning to release a sequel, Do or Die 2, coming soon. And I definitely can't wait for that to come out. Thank you, AZ, for 25 years of this classic project, and you definitely deserve more credit. 25 years since AZ released Do or Die. I just can't believe it. And by the way, how you like my Naruto Uzumaki shirt? Yeah, I'm wearing my Naruto shirt because, you know, October 10th is Naruto Day. Naruto Uzumaki's birthday is October the 10th. Now let's talk about the second hip-hop album we will be talking about today. Five years later, on the same day, October 10th, 2000, Ja Rule released his second album, Rule 336, by Murder, Inc. and Def Jam Records. This is when Ja Rule became a gangster rapper into a bubblegum rapper. That's when he started making all these 
bubblegum love songs with female R&B artists. And also, this is when he was growing his hair. That's when he started to get his hair braided. Anyway. Let's see. Ja Rule's Rule 336 mm, debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 and number one on the top R&B slash hip hop albums chart and was certified triple platinum. Four singles. Between Me and You, Put It On Me, Six Feet Underground, and I Cry. Guest appearances from Ty Murda, Black Child, Christina Milian, J.O. Felony, Lil Mo, Vita, and many more others. Producers include Irv Gotti, Mm -mm -mm. 20 years since Ja Rule released Rule 336. Also, there's one track on the album. In the dirty version, the track is called Fuck You, featuring O1 and Vita. But the clean version of the track is Furious. It is also off the Fast and Furious soundtrack. Yep. This album contains a title, a song called Fuck You in the dirty version, but in the clean version is called Furious, which is also on the Fast and Furious soundtrack. The album still contains explicit material and was made in a clean version which only removes profanity and drug slash violence lyrics are left in. Although some profanity like the words hoes and ass are also left in. So looking back on Ja Rule's Rule 336 20 years later. It's definitely a classic even though. Ja Rule changed his style from being a gangster rapper to a bubblegum rapper. Like I said, that's when he started making all these love songs like Between Me and You and Put It On Me. And also, this was another hip-hop album that I wanted to get as a nine-year-old besides Nelly's Country Grammar and Eminem's The Marshall Mathers LP. But like some uh, 90s kids' parents... I was too young to get this album because my sister said that it has a lot of cuss words like I didn't know what cuss words were back then. So I have to wait 20 years later to get this and I can listen to it anytime I want. But yeah, it's a classic Ja Rule Rule 336. Now I have two Ja Rule albums, his first album Vinny Vidi Vici and his second album Rule 336. Thank you, Ja, for 20 years of this classic project, even though I was too young to get it 20 years ago, but I got it 20 years later. In the meantime, I think my boy Serge Dragon was trying to call me to see if we can do a podcast, so I'm at to call him back right now, and I'm going to wrap this up. That wraps up my rant celebrating 25 years of AZ's Do or Die and 20 years of Ja Rule's Rule 336. Let me know what you guys think. If you're new here, hit subscribe if you like the content and hit that notification bell for my next anniversary rant. If you're not new here, thumbs up if you like the video, thumbs down if you didn't, leave your comment down below. I'll catch you tomorrow, reminiscing 19 years of Linda McMahon firing William Regal as the WWF commissioner from the October 11th, 2001 edition of SmackDown. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. Peace. Happy 25th to AZ's Do or Die. And happy 20th to Ja Rule's Rule 336.